What up, guys? Kevin here. I feel like the TV guys are saying now's the time. Do it. Go get an OLED. It's not going to get better than this. Though I feel like I've said that a few times and it gets better. 55 inch A80J. $9.99. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell's going on? The 48 inch C1, I got it right here. Boom, $7.99. What is going on? Get these TVs. Do your research first. Don't listen to me. Do your research first. And the biggest takeaway is be patient with this process and be prepared to take back the television. Because I bought the C1 a few weeks ago. It was dull. It was dim. I think it was broken because the C1 I got, I just bought the 65 inch for $15.99, which is a steal. Magnificent. Superb. Mwah. Um, but yeah because once you go OLED you can't go back to me if I were to go back blooming which I was fine with a few days ago I would think the TV's broken I'm like ew look at that bloom that's how quick I've calibrated to the dark inky blacks and the contrast of an OLED especially when you get a good OLED and these two TVs the C1 A80J they seem to be the ones to get now I will say this for gaming Everyone says the C1. Now, if you're like me who plays single-player games, shout out to you, EA, uh, single-player games. And you're probably coming from an old television where the input lagging in-game mode is like 40+. plus. So, yeah, this would be a huge step up. I think that in-game mode, it's like about, it's less than 20, I will say that. Not as good as the C1. The C1 is like less than 10 in-game mode. Um, but that's still a huge step up. And from what I understand, the A80J, just watching a lot of videos on YouTube, great detail, better detail, um, highlights, all that, upscale, better on the A80J. However, the C1, which might be the reason why I keep the C1, because I mainly use it for gaming and in game mode, the C1 keeps the dark, inky blacks of the OLED, whereas in game mode on the A80J, this is the biggest one that's making me go, Ooh, I don't think I can do it. And there's some good side-by-sides out there on YouTube. The blacks are a little bit raised. And I feel like that would just maybe not annoy me if I didn't have the C1, if I just went straight to A80J. But going from the C1 to that would probably annoy me. Um, the Black Crush, I do not mind. It's not as crazy as I thought, or I come across many scenes where there is crazy Black black Crush, but I think you'll get it more on the C1 than the A80J. But the A80J, at least in game mode, from what I've seen, the, um, the Black Levels are a little bit raised. Now, you do get better highlights and all that on the A80J. So there's some trade-offs and only two HDMI 2.1s compared to four, but what do you have? I mean, maybe you're like me, you have a Series X and <laughs> a PS5, that would use both. I think you wouldn't be able to set up like, I mean, you can still use a sound bar, but I think that would take up one of the ports uh, on an A80J. But um, yeah, I mean, just do more research. To me, I think both these TVs are great. Really, it's if you put on YouTube what's better, the A80J or the C1, I think depending on which TV you put first, you're going to get the same amount of videos saying, you know, this TV's better here and this TV's better there. These are two great TVs and they're on sale, even though they're last year's model. I mean, it's not a huge leap from last year to this year, though. Here, the C2 is pretty good pretty good. I, don't, I haven't seen too much about the A80K. I don't even know if it's out yet. But $9.99 for a 55-inch. I actually do have this purchased at a Best Buy. I am just too lazy to return that big C1. It is heavy. I will say this. The C1, it is a heavy beast. At least the 65-inch. Even the 55-inch is a little bit heavy. But this is like a 70-pound television. That base is way too heavy i'm like does it need to be this heavy <laughs> uh, maybe i'll give the c to that because i think they um have a different lighter base but 
there you go. I just wanted to point these two TVs out. They are the way to go. Even in middle 2022 with new televisions out, I feel like these are the two OLEDs to look at. Um, yeah. I would say the skin tones on the C1 are amazing. Amazing. From what I've seen out of the box, um, the picture is a little bit off. You need to calibrate it or dial it in. I haven't done it yet. I just switched to the game optimizer. I mean, the game settings on the C1 are way better than the game settings on the Sony TVs, and I assume that's to be the case for the A80J. In terms of the menu and what it provides, you can see the FPS on the C1, and there's a few different settings like FPS, shooter, or whatever. I put it in RPG just because I like watching RPGs. Um, I don't notice a difference too much, but yeah, there you go. There you have it. I just wanted to point these two deals out. There you go. You got the A80K right here. $32.99. But yeah, look at these deals. And the X90K, I do believe the 65 inch is still at $12.99. Again, if you're if you haven't come from an OLED, that's a great TV. That is a great TV. It gets plenty bright. Um, I've seen some people in my comments saying, hey, I'm sticking with the X90K. Um, and it's great. It's great. It would be interesting for me to go back to that TV now, just after really experiencing OLED, because I noticed the blooming on that TV. It didn't bother me. It'd be interesting to see how much that TV bothers me. Oh, looking at my C1 right now. Between the two, the C1 reflections, amazing. It handles the reflections superbly. I believe the A80J, I think it still does a good job, but not as good as the C1. Just wanted to point that out. All right, I'm done here. I will talk to you guys later. I feel like tomorrow there's going to be even more crazy deals. I I think this one is going to go down. I could see this going down to like $13.99. I, I could feel it. I could feel it in my balls that the 65-inch C1 will go down to $13.99 in the next couple weeks. And I am not going to put any money on it because I spent all my money on this TV and I needed to go down to $13.99 so I can get a little bit of that money back. But all right. I'm done here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.